Join us today. We're in Jeju Island, South Korea, visiting the Hasan National Park. Our first stop is the Highland Rest Area, 1,100 meters above sea level, and we're going to get the full details of the legend of the white deer. <laughs> Now legend has it that wizards ruled Hala Mountain. These wizards would lead their white deer to drink from the clear waters of the volcanic crater at the top. To the locals, this area was sacred and so were the deer. Folklore has it that a son hunting for deer to capture the blood for his ailing mother climbed Hala Mountain, spotted a white deer, and took his shot. Before the arrow could reach its target, a wizard jumped out, captured the arrow, hopped on the deer, and rode off. When the mist cleared, the hunter gathered some water from the crater lake that appeared. He took it home, his mother drank it, and was said to be healed that very day. And hey, now that you know the legend, this will make this climb a lot better. So let's head up the road into the Young Shield parking area, where we'll take the trail to the top. One more folktale before we get started. See those jagged rocks up there? Those were called the 500 generals. Story goes, there was a giant mother that had 500 sons. She was cooking a pot of soup, fell in the cauldron, and the sons cried so much they turned to stone. Perhaps they are referred to as the 500 generals by the way they're standing guard of the mountain. Now keep in mind that Mount Holosan is a volcano and is Korea's tallest peak at over 6,000 feet above sea level. As we head up the Young Shield Trail, you'll notice these steps embedded into the side of the mountain. So around the bottom area, you'll find these a lot and uh, it changes a bit as we move towards the middle and top sections. Just a reminder, this is a forest and wildlife does exist here. Although I can say we mostly saw birds. As you can see, expect a steady climb until you reach your destination. The elevation change is somewhere around 2,000 feet and you can plan on spending anywhere from three and a half to five hours on the trail. The actual distance is somewhere between four and a half and 4.7 miles out and back. And folks, this video would not be complete without my thumb over the camera lens. You kids better behave. Those 500 generals are looking at you. As you're heading up, if you look back, uh, you'll get this visual, and I believe it's an observatory. Uh, somebody in the comments down below, correct me if I'm wrong. We were actually making this climb on a weekday, so it was a Wednesday, but there appeared to be quite a few uh, school field trips there as well. I think the birds there are pretty smart. They seem to hang around the platforms where people congregate, uh, eating their snacks, and I think a lot of the leftover food goes directly to the birds. And uh, we have a quite clever bird here. He grabs an orange flies around the rock to hide it and uh, starts munching down on it. All right, as we pass 1,600 meters in elevation, G-Money's shoes started to bother her pretty bad, so we decided to actually head back down the mountain. So if you made it this far, I apologize, but we will throw some pictures in here just so you can see what the top looks like. 